or write it to you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create speech to text API. What do I mean by that? So if you see, uh, this is a place where the data will be shown. What is the data? What is the data? So if I talk, that data will be transferred into text. This That will be shown over here. So let's start. If I click on this button, a microphone will be started. It's asking for permission. Allow. Hello user. Hope you're doing good. So I have talked. I, ha I have spoke to the microphone. And uh, now you can see the text is available here. Hello. You hope you're doing good. So if you like to talk again. This app is an amazing app. So you can see it has typed what I just said and the console is also available this is just for testing so to follow along I have left the source code in the description so these are the steps which are going to follow in this tutorial fine fine the first very first step is let's create a folder on the desktop and we'll name it as speech to text API so let's open it into our uh, visual, uh, visual studio editor uh, open folder and it's on the desktop so in the particular folder we need two files the first one is index file and the second one is javascript file index.html and then uh, script.js so the advantage the main feature of this particular video is that we are not going to use any third party API we are going to use what the browser has given us to work with so this is the link I will leave the link in the description we are not going to use any third party exp third party API this is just the uh, API which is provided by the Chrome itself you don't have to install anything so let's let me create the copy the template of bootstrap 4 so we don't have to get the script and uh, cdn sorry link uh, css css files and uh, js files it's already in the cdn that's the main reason why i have just copy pasted it so let me open this so at present this is how it looks our project is blank so let uh, the very first thing is let's add some bootstrap classes bg dark and text center text white so we need a h6 with id h6 element and uh, here it is going to be listening and then we need a button with id btn uh, btn what do we say btn, BTN uh, listen and then a class btn btn primary so if you look this is how it looks and let's have this inside container zoom in a bit so that we can completely see inspect it padding top 5 and in case if you want and hit 6 again speech to text and let's have this class margin top 3 and let's design this instead of padding top we'll remove the padding top from here Fine. 
top bottom left right fine now our HTML is but very our HTML is ready now let's work on the script we have designed the HTML now let's get all the element from the HTML and display it on the JavaScript. Document dot query selector. Here we'll pass the ID. So we have two elements. The first one is H6, and the second element is button. And these buttons and the H6 are available using these two variables. Control B to close the sidebar and uh, now we are going to call the API or we are going to initialize the API using the window dot speech recognition and we'll store it into a variable called recognition and uh, let's create an object and this object is from this we have created we have created a reference to the object now create the object uh, and we have created this and then start the recognition using the method call on start console dot log so after initialization it will say yes now you can start to talk so once we talk we need to get the result we can get the result using on result function console.log e so we want to trigger this speech uh, on button click so we need to add a listener add event listener click function so we have clicked and uh, what we need to do is we need to start so get the object recognition dot start and here the reference should be this one let's try click here and uh, the very funny thing is we have not initialized the script src equal to script.js reason is not a constructor if this error occurs what you have to do is or window dot webkit now let's try it says now you can start to talk so it is working you have to use on start so you see is asking for the permission I'm giving permission and I'm speaking right now and you can see while speaking the red dot appeared and this is with the help of the argument here e we are getting it so to get the result what you have to do is you have to get into this JSON values so how to traverse how to get into the JSON value so here so the result will be on the results so dot then transcript fail to execute start
Hello. Hello. Hope you're doing good. Now you can see we can get the values. Now we have to pass this value. Result. Result received. So get the H six element. dot text content hello my dear app so it is working that's all for this video get the source code in the description so if you want to try one more thing we can do it so while clicking it I want the text to be listening again so get the value listening So if you see, let me click on listen. Hello my dear app, how are you doing? Hello my dear app, how are you doing? So let me click on listen, when click on listen, here the text will change. And uh, let's give permission and... Uh, so this is a testing app for... Okay, so this is a testing app, it is working.